Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just sitting here looking at my my wall of shame here. <laughs> so many projects stacked up. Yeah, that works if you're just going to sit back for the evening and just watch it all happen. You know? um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I need glasses now to see what it is I've marked. Does it pop it up? It kind of does. Yeah, that's a well right there. Um, a suggestion came in to put benches over here by this forestry because they all want to take a break clear back at their house and maybe we can shortcut a little bit of that by giving them a place to sit down over here can i put a bench in like so i can interesting even though it indicates a great big rectangle it's going to let me operate within it that's good to see all right so t u into there that's the stairs in um, this must be, well, I can't see it now, it's yellow. Let's do that and that. This is, okay, they go up here. I'm looking for the pathways. They go up here, they do something right here. It's almost like the logs go in right here and get cut up and brought out and stacked in a lumber over here. Something like that. Kind of wish kind of wish I knew what was inside of there. Um, another thing to deal with, we are out of iron. I honestly didn't think I'd get to that point. We still have 800 nails, so that's not a worry, but we don't need to be paying these guys to stand around anymore. So they're all gone and they can fill in blanks in other places like this. I am now running, okay. Trader will get done, we will buy more iron. We've still got 600 gold in the town treasury. We've got a few things that we can sell. And let's see here, we are in October. So yeah, we'll see which other towns are overly excited about traveling in the snow to trade with us. Otherwise, I've got to, just looking at our decor at the moment, still got to wait for things to grow up a lot more. Everything that is here is kind of fall colors. So, a little dreary, a little, uh, you know, weedy. <laughs> in time, that will look better. Anyway, they have cleared all their crops away. Which does what? Anything new? Nothing new. Interesting. I thought there'd be a few more choices that have shown up and they, we'd fill in these last two. Alright, so you... Of all that came in this year, that is beyond what a household needs to keep, we've only got peas, honey, onions, and carrots sitting in this one. And garlic and horseradish. So, is that all reflected in here? Uh, no dried fish yet, but we do have regular fish for sale. Good. Um, flour and buckwheat got landed in here. Otherwise, our potatoes and beetroots are there. Uh, we here? Yeah. So there's our garlic. And our horseradish landed. That's onions. Where did our horseradish land? Oh, you're back over here. Okay. So you are the stall we're working with now for anything new that comes in and set automatically a child has been born oh nice if you click this family just this 11 year old now has a, a little sister mm Hmm. um otherwise we're going to be working on these guys so i guess let's get the speed kicked up a little bit and get progressing through some of this let's head down here and Take a look at these guys building the trading post. Oh, look at that. They're setting up scaffolding. Now that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I had not seen that before. So it'll be interesting to see somebody use it, but I guess it's just to, to let us know that we are thinking about what it would take to actually build something like this. Yeah, taller roofs going on over here. You look like that. So that's the spire the, uh, going in at that point. Yeah. Um, what else? Fish is being delivered. You are 
A laborer. Okay. So, did you guys hire on? You did. So we have three boats out here now. We've got two out over here. I guess, since we're not doing as... Well, we are doing building. But it'd be nice to get the trees clear out of these places. So, I'll see if it's possible to get two more guys into there. Um, do we know off the top here? Unemployment zero. So, I'm thinking that that's my answer. All right, we'll do that. If anybody's going to jump in, it'll be out over here. I'll let you guys uh, build and fill some of these in. So we are into the beginning of November. So we've got three weeks left of fishing. Then the fish boats go away. And at that point, we can fully stock other jobs like the forestries and take down all of these trees and these, these projects that are waiting. Otherwise, there's a buzz of activity out over here. Everyone's going to and fro. Kids are all over the place in there, running into everybody else's houses. <laughs> all these tiny little adults running around. <laughs> yeah. How's the well doing? The well will refresh as they use it. And it's, it's staying well above its normal needs. This one too? That one's doing great. These don't exist yet, and let's see, there was another one over here, which doesn't get used very much either. We will probably need another one, actually I don't think we will need another one down here, I can't think of a building here that needs water, so I think that will be fine. Um, you guys are now at this point, all the materials are here, and we are getting them all built. We'll just sit back and watch this for a little bit. And there it is. Okay. Paint went on just like that. Oh, I wish that happened in real life. Okay, we've got a trader. Slow us back down. In fact, I'll just pause it. And we're getting to near the end of what time we have available. Manager wants you to come in. Um, how best to... What do we know about the manager? Doesn't really tell us much. I had seen on another series that it needed to be one with more education. We'll just see if that is the case. If I were to say goodbye to a couple of others, manager fires right in. Okay. So, actually, let's just leave that off. And, us Town Hall. Wrong one. There. Okay. So how best to get that hired? Well, I know how to do it, but it'll make a lot of people angry. Let's give lots of choices. Let's get you hired and uh, you hired. Just one of each at this point. And we'll wait and see uh, what's going to happen there. So I was just looking through a number of these. Uh, unemployed, the ones that I just kicked out of here to make them all available to take that job. We've got actually a couple of them that are educated, at least one of five. Some of them are not. Your forestry, fish docks, who was I th seeing? This guy's unemployed and zero of five education. So there are multiples that are available right now. It's just a matter of them going home, doing whatever they're going to do, and then thinking about wanting a job and then seeing what's available, and then we'll see a face pop in over here. So in that case, but I... I can't choose who's going to rehire over here, so I need to wait just a little bit and let that happen. There we go. Okay, so let's bring on one, two, three, four. We'll get to work back over here. No materials brought in yet? None. Uh, this one's full of trees, so that's that house. We do need more housing, so I'm not going to build all of this and then start putting houses in. That's, that's not it. These are really just, I wanted to see this whole area laid out. I clicked that many times and got nothing. There they are. <laughs> yeah, there's one over here. Boy, 
You'd think out of 20 clicks, I'd get at least 10 buildings show up over there. Uh, we do also want to place the brickworks over in here. We can do all that probably next year, get through this winter. Okay, so you are in there. <clears throat> we could send messengers to each of these places. And when they get there, they'll report back to us what they have uh, for sale and what they're buying, what they're, what they're selling. <clears throat> or if we wait long enough, they will send messengers to us and we won't have to spend the money. Um, you cost eight, 95, you cost 80 to send a messenger. I don't want to spend that kind of money. I really don't. Um, metal would be nice. It isn't critical. We've got 800 nails. That's a lot of projects. And we've got, um, we've got building materials sitting on many of the sites already too, already collected. So I'm not going to worry so much about that. 800 nails will last quite a long time. 800 nails was probably this much of the town. So we're, we're okay there. Um, didn't we start with only 1600? We bought, we built probably 12 buildings with all that. So that's going to run... Eventually, now that we have the manager down here, we're going to be alerted when there is a messenger that shows up from one of the other towns. And then we'll make decisions on what to buy and sell, hire up in some more help, maybe get the materials brought down to here to sell to them. And it should all be fine. But we are getting to the end of that season. Let's see, you are over here. Uh, next thing to build that is possible is this well. Um, gazebo, hay barracks, none of those are real necessary at the moment. Oil workshop, what does that say? In queue. Oil workshop could be done. We've got the sunflower seeds to stock it. We've got the hemp to stock the weaver's shop too. There's one tree over there to work on. What else do we have here? Shoemaker, we don't have any of the leather for the saddlery or any of that. Uh, the tannery, slaughterhouse, all that has to wait. Hmm. Salt works, don't have the stone. Trading dock, we don't need two different trading sources that quickly. So, kind of in limbo right now. Kick that speed up and let's just let things build and kind of roam around and see what happens. Watch these guys fishing. Oh, everyone is left. Why is everybody left? <laughs> okay, we got you sitting here waiting, and I'm going to leave you there waiting. You you like that job more than you liked this job. I see. Uh, it is a little closer to home. That's probably a thing. They can kind of roam around and, and swap out jobs here and there. Though I haven't seen families ever move to be closer to their work. If they're going to adjust, I would guess it is the job. But usually whoever stays in this home is in this home until their kids marry off and move, and move into a, a new home over, over here somewhere. Otherwise, they will stay in the home that they, uh, they moved into. As it should be. Okay, so what is happening in here? Not much. So one worker one manager and they're just kind of waiting how are we tax wise now so we're still we're 657 let's look at the treasury until we get a message pop in over here now i up the wealth tax quite a bit <clears throat> land tax i haven't moved yet i do want to do that um to what land tax one <clears throat> let's slow down while i do this i don't know when the taxes actually hit. Is that January 1st or what? Um, now I'm curious to see if I set that for one, what happens here? Land tax is $2.30. If I set this and okay, $2.30 for this size, and I suspect this is a much smaller size. Your land tax is only 80 cents. So yeah, it's based on the size of their footprint. What's our biggest one over here? Your land tax is $3.50. Okay. So if I kick the land taxes up to... These are 
cents, I believe, right? I think so. Or is it might be three dollars per something. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a three dollars rather than three percent. So you are now at six ninety. You bring in six twenty five a month, but this land tax should be annual, I think. So we want to play around with this and see exactly how this works. You're at two forty because you're much smaller, and you're a lot bigger. So you're at ten. You get a, a family wealth of 160, so you're good on taxes for quite some time. And you've also got a wealth tax that comes in if you're over $70. Is that what I set it at? So we've got to play with these. You want to get enough coming in to keep the town afloat, and you'll do a lot of that with trading too. But you also don't want to bring in so much, $80 is, was where I said that, that you bankrupt your own people and then they all leave. And you've got to wait for new ones to arrive and, and they, they've got to go and get employed. And there's, there's, it isn't as easy as saying, yeah, yeah, just the, we'll, we'll get more eventually. Now, do I need you employed to move these fish? I don't think so. Um, that would be a job for even a place like this. I could put fish in here and somebody will get hired on as a laborer to go and get it. Or I could turn off laborers and just make the workers do it. That's another suggestion that came in to the, uh, uh, to the comments. Turn off laborers on these buildings and right there, just let the worker either choose to do it by hand or by cart and fill these things and save the laborers for other jobs. So that works pretty good. You, I haven't fixed all that. So let's do that here. Same thing here. Market stalls, you will just be by hand and by cart, apply to all. And you will just be hiring women, apply to all. All right, so that takes care of that. Warehouse... Kind of the same thing that gives the warehouse worker you know a reason to be so turn off laborers right there apply to all and just let the the person that is running it do all the deliveries and that frees up some of your laborers for other jobs now you do that too much and you'll find families can no longer find a second income and their household income will start dropping. They won't be able to afford their taxes and they're going to be they're going to be gone. So now one way that they do bring in income is that they sell all of these goods to the town who then sells it back to other people through the markets. So there's a delicate balance here and do this wrong and you can really mess up that balance. So it's kind of a trial and error to you till you've played it a few times and get a sense of what it's supposed to be. So we, I have, I keep dropping this down to one speed because I play for myself at one speed. I just sit back and relax in the evening and just enjoy something. I don't need to race to an ending. So that's what I'm used to doing when I'm talking. My hands go on autopilot and just drop it into what I'm used to. I don't even think about it. Anyway, house going in and... Even with that, we're still at 700 nails for the town. Next job that doesn't have trees is this guy. Oh, they got to it. Good. Now, did I hire two more? I did not. Let's do that. See if that's possible. One guy was... There we go. So we did have two guys that were waiting. They can take down trees in other places. I know that the... Where are you? You've got one tree left on you. The charcoal pile over in this area. And what else had a tree? Well, things up in this area, there were some trees to take down. Yeah, now I can see all the flags. Couldn't see those before. All the different buildings that are marked out. So there's trees over here to take out, which these guys will do. So... And otherwise, these guys are just taking trees out around behind them. Interesting how they do that. This forestry over here, what was that? Charcoal pile is completed. Okay. Um, every time I saw them taking trees, they were taking it off of a building site. 
These guys twice now have just dropped a tree behind them out of convenience. They're doing it again! So, maybe that one charcoal pile was... There's three ladies scheduled to go out there and start filling that up. Um, was the only one in this side of the map that needed a tree taken down. Uh, salt works. We could unpause that and move it out over here. And I believe it will become active again. Trading dock. Yeah, we could. Well, you're not, you don't have a tree on you. And you are the fishing dock. Okay. So there are trees for this guy, but that's this guy over here. That's the house. Tannery, that's over there. Slaughterhouse is over there. See, so really, there aren't any other other uh, places that need trees taken down over here. Okay. You've got 18... You've got six logs in stock. Let's let this get up to ten or so, then we'll pull two guys back out of here. I think so. No messages from the other towns. Interesting. Do they come in during the winter? I'm pretty sure they do. Seems like... I remember that in the past. It wasn't something that went away just because there's snow on the ground. The river trading does. The rivers freeze up and there's no more trading there. Anyway, you are almost done. <clears throat> Have another family moving in. This is waiting for these guys to take them out. They are taking a break. I'm going to race back over and grab that log. And then we'll take out the rest of these trees. So where do we want more houses? That is going to be a thing soon. And the thought was just to finish off the back row here. And then maybe take roads out sideways. You can only go so far from the markets before they start to complain. Let me show you. Village house... I go places occupied, need to remove trees. Warning, no market stall nearby. So you gotta go quite a ways to get that warning. They're willing to walk a certain distance. So I could get out to as far as here even. And those market stalls are still good enough. Okay, so we could house back here and then maybe a couple of arcs of houses and their families move into town and then more jobs and what have you out in this area that's yeah, possible but let's play over here my mouse seems really sensitive right now i wonder what i changed didn't change anything in the settings maybe my mouse is, has changed we're into january now uh what are they doing the house moved in they're probably working on that orchard at the moment and I don't need to race to deal with that just yet because we can't plant in the winter anyway. All right, so let's um, F1. You could be there. Do we... I think we... Oh, I don't know what we do here. What was that? Orchard completed. Slow down so I can think. Oh, right clicked instead. So you go back in there, F1. I'm trying to figure out what to do at this corner. Do we want to... I wish I could do... Come on now. This. I wish I could have a, a fifth point. Take it down here and then give us a, a flat area over here. Kind of start flattening this, this front up. But I guess that's not going to be an option. So I'll just make this a corner. And the next one will have to flatten it up. Okay. So clomp, 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 clomp. Another family moved in. Did they bring something that... Oh, I can't do anything until I set this. That other families don't have that I could then dump into the market. Um, so you will head off somewhere in there. You're going to lock these three corners. There's not much more I can do about that. So it really comes down to how far this way. Now, I can't have an entrance there if I'm going to have another house here. Okay, so toss you, and let's go and deal with this. So anything new pop into this from that new family? No. So you guys didn't bring anything unusual with you. What is that? Dried fruit. Now, that is unusual. We don't have 
dried fruit anywhere. But it probably isn't a quantity. Oh, there is dried fruit in there. Okay. Now, it's zero through most of them, so nobody's got too much of in order to have something to sell to the market. Though saying that, somebody's walking over here. Who are you? You are the... Sp you work at the small granary. You work there. Okay. And you are carrying carrots. All right. So let's get back to this one more time and see if I can get it right this time. House and turn you this way. So I guess you do pop off this back end. Okay. So F1 that. Bring you back into here. Now I could ignore those corners like we did here. It's possible if there's a reason to do it. I just can't think of a reason right now. If I did that, if the further we can get this way, the less fencing I have to do to kind of fence this corral off to force traffic through this archway and make what I want to do here instead of a dozen trails shooting off into the other directions like this. You know? So I kind of want to corral them in a bit. So if I did go just a little bit further here, and then take this in to wherever over here. That wouldn't be uncalled for. Um, or do I bank some houses around here and cancel this road coming through? Another cul-de-sac. Although these people won't be able to walk to work very easily. There is that. These folks, if they want to work over here, they're going to have to go all the way into town and come back. They won't cross through other people's yards. So there is a disadvantage to doing that. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and just clean this up. You're going to go like so. I keep hitting that right click to let go of the button. That just feels like the natural thing to do. And that is making this difficult to keep from messing up all right so f1u for the very last time right you're gonna go there and it's also a right click to move around so if i do that too quick it deletes this guy so when the same button does the same thing do i take you in further is this too deep so i'm working on right now so if i do that grab you Rotate you around to where? Put your back end over here, maybe. Alright. Place is occupied. Something else is occupied. So what is the place that's occupied? Hold the alt down. Move around. That's not it. This... Ah, it's right there. Okay. So you're happy there, you're happy there. We can plant around it. It's not too big that your land tax is gonna to be too much, which is something to consider. I think we're gonna call that one done. All right, so we're in the middle of January. We finished off this guy, and I'm guessing there's no point in, uh, in um, employing it right now, so that can wait. You guys are busy doing things over here. We've got... 19 logs. Let's tell two of you to go home. Uh, two of you actually, let's tell you to go get hired over here. Perfect. We'll do that. Anybody else that needs a job, we'll just fill that in for now and we'll just keep, we'll use this as our reserves for, uh, for labor. All right. So we've got a house sitting over here and we've got a messenger. Great. This house has seven trees? Seven trees. Wow. Let's make you some of the first of the seven trees to be worked on. So, even as far as right there. Do want to get some more houses in to employ all those buildings that we're going to build. Anyway, we have a messenger. So, that means click over here. And this town over here is selling cows and pigs and horses and sheep, which we aren't ready for. They're selling iron. There it is. Okay, so we want to bring in at least 500 iron. Let's deal with that quantity at the moment. 2,000 is going to cost $240. We've got 797, so we brought in a big tax bill. So we need to go take a look at that, see how that worked. 500 iron is going to cost us 60. 
that's enough to keep us going for another year and we'll have more opportunities later to get more. So small deals rather than try to refill the warehouse all at once and bankrupt ourselves. Deal, and you're gonna be rolling in here real soon. I can go ahead and set it for a slow speed and kind of separate these guys out. All right, so anything else we need to buy? Salt would be great. Salt is not offered, okay. Stone, and they have 900 to sell us. We can start bringing in the stone to, that's going to cost us 90 to start building the, the foundation for the salt works. Okay, so that's another 90 out the door. So deal and get that one going. Lime, charcoal, you can buy nails. I had not noticed those before. So good, you can. Um, to sell flour. So what flour do we have? Can we, if I click on this, Town storage is zero. Really? So flour was being stored here. Zero of 2,000. So all of our flour has hit the markets. There's 42 of it. And 30 of it. Okay. So it's about to rot, but there's not much there. So it's very possible that it will go away in time. Um, what does it say? 30 there and how much in this one? 42. <clears throat> Is there any sense of a timer? No, it doesn't tell you. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave that and not try to eliminate the chance of it rotting there. Um, what else do you guys want? You want potatoes. I know we have a lot of potatoes that are getting close to us. Go back here. I'm used to going up to the warehouse to look, but I realized a while ago I could do it. I have got nothing in the town storage either. Interesting. Now, we are dealing with smaller farms, so we're not building large quantities. I just want to get rid of all the rot that I can. So what do we have that is rotting? We've got not a lot of... Not a lot of... So... Thirty potatoes. The rot bars aren't that bad through here. They're not. And the potato bar has moved up quite a bit. So I guess the next more recent round of potatoes has upped that right there. So we don't really have a lot of that to sell. Okay. I'm gonna go back to paused. I don't know how long I've got to make these decisions and these guys are already on their way all right dried fish we don't have don't have sunflower oil yet don't have sallow what is sallow don't have clothes don't have textiles don't have leather don't have metal parts i don't believe horse tack and honey okay how much honey is in reserve um you There we go. We do have 1,100 honey. Uh, it doesn't go bad. Honey is in the market. That's you? Yeah. So there's 100 there. I don't believe there's any over there. No. Just potatoes and flour over there. So we've got 1,200 and some honey available. And we've got how many producers? Two producers. And you guys have got 182, and you've got 263. Okay. So I could sell that 1,000. I think that's worth doing. Do we still have a worker here? We do. Let's have you go and grab 1,000 honey out of there. Um, now, when they sell it, they're going to want to bring another 1,000 to fill that in. So buy from local producers temporary stock does this say what temporary stock is you can mark resources temporary by clicking on the corresponding button these resources will be removed from stock once sold and will not be refilled okay so I can bring the honey down once and not worry about the other 200 being fed into this and now is that a red X So I click in it, 
and it highlights and there's a red X in the corner. I hope that means temporary is on, but that sure feels like it's off. Anyway, you're going to start bringing some temporary stock down of a thousand honey, and we're going to tell these people, yes, we'll sell you some honey. There, we'll sell you one thousand of it. That will bring in a hundred dollars. A hundred. I don't remember the currency that is. It's a currency I've never heard of before, so I'd have to go read it again. And it doesn't actually say anywhere. It did say somewhere. I was reading in here. Deal? Um. Here? Treasury? H R Y V N I A. Hryvnia? Hryvnia. I'll go with that until you guys correct me. That's the, the currency in the game. Okay, so that is all that we can deal with here. That's all that they're willing to buy, and that is all that we have to, to sell, or vice versa. Yeah. Okay, well that it completes this one. Now, Treasury, what happened? Housing rent. This year we brought in 225 for housing rent. So do they get charged for a house as well as the land? That's kind of indicating that, isn't it? Um, 30, 90, how many houses does 30 cents go into that? That looks like 7 or 8 to me, and so that's not correct either. So how does the housing rent come into this? I expected that to be 0 along with apartment rent being zero. So where are the houses? Because I've got way too many houses for that 30 cents each to be only that amount of money. $2.40. Um, so land tax is 54. And I keep wanting to move things around. Um, wealth tax is coming in. And local sales. Now does it say what we've spent? We have an expense of 40. I don't know if that's as buying from people in our markets or what. But we've got an outgo of 40. We've got an income of 99 at the moment. So we're actually doing pretty good. Current balance is 800. And does that take into account trading at this point? Scroll a little bit. Messengers. Financial help that we've given people. Local purchases. Local purchases. So... Is that now of course that's just this year so we may only be talking about two weeks this is probably the the worst time of year to sit down and try to analyze what's going on here okay I think that's probably fair all right so town hall clay why does town hall have clay <laughs> what am I missing here town hall has 100 clay so what is that all about? Um, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. That <laughs> I've got no idea. Okay. So how are you doing? Honey is not in. You are working. You are not... Worker by hand, worker by cart. Okay, now you're going to go get some. And labor is by hand. Uh-huh. And labor is by cart. Let's get this done, folks. Okay, he didn't choose cart. So that meant there were no carts available. All right, so we could definitely use a cart house down here. Okay. So where exactly? It may be that the fishermen would haul a big haul of fish with them, too. That's right here. Huh. Carts are here. Cart parking. Can I rotate? Uneven terrain. So it's probably even worse in this direction, huh? Yeah. So cart parking. So there, our best bet's about like so. Up against the fence. Not in there. Not in between. No, it won't let me. 
Over here, it doesn't make any sense. These guys don't use carts. So... There is no good place to put it. No obvious place to put it. I can't put it at the end of any of the fences. And I don't know if this is where I want something like this to be. Uh, even if I could line that up. There's nowhere down here that will take it. Okay. Not there. It's just kind of out in the middle here. Any rhyme or reason for doing that. So, kind of hard to lay things out in the winter. Everything's just a big white blank slate. If I set that there... Let's just do that. No rhyme or reason. When it builds, I'll, I'll make it up later. Put some trees around it and a bench and make it look like it was supposed to be there. So we get some carts built down there. And that could be done fairly quickly. It could be done while these trees are being taken out of these houses. Okay. And you say you're out of nails? What? Wait a minute here. Uh, nails... Are not listed anymore. Was that a 107 instead of a 707? I don't know. Did they lay nails out at all the other places? So all resources are collected. Still waiting for nails there. So it looks like well we do have the we do have the iron coming in. Maybe I should take advantage of this and get another 500 coming in. Let's do that. We had a pretty good haul tax-wise over there. So let's do that. 500 more iron while we still have the ability to do so. Deal. That'll be this cart coming in here. Okay. So the first of the carts coming in will be... In fact, can we see them? Here they come. They're just on their way in. Kick the speed up a bit. One, two. And then another one will be coming in soon to collect all the honey. Will we see them off in the distance anywhere? Don't think so. I think it is up here. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, nails didn't last as long as I thought they would. Or I misread that. Those words are a little bit small up there for me. So that could be a two. Um, let's watch their pathway. This is the pathway they're going to take, and I'd like to make a road through here. So, let's do something like you mark trees for removal. I don't think they will remove these trees faster than the other jobs that need to get done. So, take you out. You out. You guys... Good there. Losing it here. So the trader is right there. So I assume it's just kind of a... Like that. Okay. So they will eventually get to that job. And... Now we need probably a second worker in here if he's not available. Um, pause for a minute. Where are you? You're coming to work. Let's throw another one in there. Let's pull one out of here. Just to make sure that's possible. And laborers are available too, but I don't know if they unload the carts. It's possible that they don't. You are there though. You're, you're available. These guys will only wait so long. And if they're not unloaded or loaded up, then they will, uh, they'll leave. So one more. You bring in honey. You're coming to work. Okay. So we still need 100 more honey to show up. Somebody, hopefully, probably you. Are you off to re uh, supplying resources? Yeah. So you are now unloading that cart, bringing in the stone. You're taking off. I think the honey purchaser is here, and we're filling that one up now. Okay. So the honey has left. And he only took 900. I guess at that point he gave up and went home. Okay. Let's kick around the idea of giving us a shot in the arm for nails. 
Maybe that. I've got a lot of construction queued up here. That might not be a dumb idea unless the price is ridiculous. So iron is 0.12 per unit. I wonder if that means something here. Nails are 0.5. 0.05 per unit. Now well, that doesn't really help me to convert to see how many nails per one iron. Hmm. Okay, well let's bring in 500 nails. What does that cost us? 25? Let's bring in 1,000 nails. And for another 50, we'll deal and get that one going too. Alright, so you're going to be on your way. And pretty soon this messenger is going to disappear and and the trades are done. There's the other iron coming in. And we still have one worker here. The other one is taking a rest. And somebody did bring in that last honey. So I could X that out. And I think this honey will now be available to go away. So we don't have to keep storing them there. Um, honey was here. Yeah, there's only 100 left. To sell to our own peoples. Okay, so that is happening. You guys have still got 19 logs, lots of firewood. We are still filling this one up. Charcoal pile, burning is complete. Okay, so we're starting to tear that one down and distribute it. You are waiting for. I can? I can. You've got 500 iron to get rid of. You just came to work. Alright, so you're unloading the iron. Which is then going to get brought probably to here. You are charcoal. We are asking for iron over there. So it's time to get you guys hired up again. And... Miria is... A child has been born. Has been delivering that iron over here. Okay, good. Um, so that means I want to take a few more folks out of here and get this guy employed again all right that's happening and here's another place that i could turn off laborers and make these guys go and get their own charcoal go and get their own iron and have my laborers available for the jobs but i kind of want these guys just to go to work and bang nails smithing nails smithing nails not hauling resources so I'm going to let these guys do that, and these ladies need jobs anyway, so let them do all the hauling for us and get that working. You just left with a cart of 300 iron. Yeah, all the rest of them hand-carried it. What have you got? You are just on your way home. Okay. So, <clears throat> I think temporarily we you are taking a rest taking a rest let's kick out one so we don't have a lot of extras at the moment and we'll rehire when we need oh now what are you you've got our thousand nails oops <laughs> so your rest is almost over the other one was just beginning okay i got rid of the right one unfortunately the manager just won't go out and do anything we have worker Move by hands and by cart. These are workers. We don't have anything about manager lifting a finger and doing anything. So the manager is just responsible for dealing with um, scheduling and ordering from other towns. But he's going to start unloading that cart like crazy and drop off all these nails. And we should see a bunch of... I guess it would just be builders grabbing the nails. Okay, there's our thousand nails. We still got 750 gold, so treasury's fine. Yeah, builders will grab the nails because they don't have a place to store nails. I didn't see the point because we were using them as fast as we could make them anyway. So they could sit in here for, you know, as storage. But builders will come and grab nails out of this space here. I'm thinking about that as I'm hearing myself say it. Which means they've got to go a long way to go and get nails for every job. Okay, all right. Let's let Mariana go and pick up all the nails out of the 1,000. Out of the trader. She 
is right now dealing with a cart and getting thatch to fill in the 1890 to 2000. Then she's going to go get nails and bring them up here a lot closer for the builders to grab nails out of here. Am I right? You got to go drop off the cart? You do. Then you got to go back and you got to look at your books again and see exactly what it was you had to do next. And by then you're going to realize, you know, I think I need to go home. Right? Taking a rest. <laughs> yeah, that's just how they roll. Okay, let's stick a bench in here while I'm thinking of it. Like that. Am I? See, control. Okay, you can go there. And just maybe a bench over in this area would be a wise idea. Back in there. And where else would really help? We've got seating over here. Seating here. Seating for this area. That doesn't have any... Let's go ahead and do the front porch over here, then. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. Now, are you going to go get those nails? No. You're going to go deal with some... Oh, you're going to get the cart. And you're going to go over here. You're going to grab nails from here. <laughs> no, it's the nails down there that I want moved. That's kind of why I didn't want to put nails... In the cart, or in, in the storage. Because they do funny things then. Leave the local nails. Come get these nails. Ah, eh, well. Okay, let's get this hired. And get that planted. You guys are starting to plant out here. What is going on out here? Let's just peek at this. You are going to plant wheat. And you've got a full load of nutrients. Oh, actually only 92% nutrients. So it didn't come back to a full 100. Interesting. That one was foul last time, I'm guessing. You are working on potatoes. You're sowing right now. Um, you must have been foul as well, working on buckwheat. You are fallow. You've depleted two of the three, and you're going to sit quiet. You are as well. Okay, so not a lot coming in here. So as we do get more housing in, we probably do want to think about another farm area. That probably would be wise. These fields were a good size for our starter town, but our town's starting to grow. <clears throat> so we could add more fields and let these same workers deal with those fields as well. Each field that is added, I'm looking for examples here. Sowing, sowings, they started here. Our growth bar is not going to complete if they didn't get to even starting to plant the field until much later because he had so many fields to work on. So another farm building with its own set of fields would give several fields the chance to start all at the same time. So there's an advantage to doing it that way. Soon we're going to find laborers come out here and kind of um, scythe or probably scythe the grass and then put it in here to dry. And then if this gets built in time, probably time to move that forward, get it built. It's a real fast thing. Put you right there. Get you built. That well up there, don't need it built quickly. Gazebo can wait. Oil workshop would be nice. Got a couple of warehouses up in there. What else needs to get done immediately? We have two carts. Oh, we did get it done. All right. Order two more. Now we got carts to be able to move things in and around from down here to, up to back up there. We could get some more fish going. And three? Yeah, we'll do three. We'll have fish available for, um, let's see, for salting when the salt finally does get here. Just checking to see what's going on here. We got three guys working in there. We don't need you until harvest. Um, there are no other jobs out here besides builders. Got our four in here which aren't as needed anymore. So you're taking a rest, and you're taking a rest, and it's almost over, which means you can go jump in as a fisherman that much sooner. 
you should there you go right there so that'll get fish coming in and get something another food variety into the market and we've still got stone and nails in here we could turn this guy back on just to get the stone delivered to there are you one of these you are saltworks you're over here could move you up a little bit like so um 600 nails i got plenty of nails now let's do that let's get the salt works moved up interesting hadn't really thought of it happening that soon you are from a different town okay you might have salt you don't so this is what they offer what they sell they do sell chickens and usually by this point i will have built the chicken coop and have the chickens coming in then you've got chicken and eggs available to sell so in fact if i leave that pause for a moment here where would we put chickens so we don't have anything planned for here yet we have this come on light up so we could chicken in here we could even chicken back in here let me know any problem with putting chicken near chickens near housing because I do have a void right here that might be kind of fun for a couple of chicken coops and then go right into the markets kind of like that whereas sheep and other things I think I'd want further away sheep and pigs but chickens work pretty well in and around housing I'm guessing um, <clears throat> Okay, so chickens are something I want to do soon. You want to make sure to have all the water and all the feed already in your chicken building before they arrive or they start dying within within a day. It's, it's frustrating how quickly chickens will die of thirst and starve to death if you don't have the food already in place. Warm clothes, broadcloth, horse, textile, honey, wheat, We could order wheat and then sell flour. Wheat comes in at point at 10 cents per unit and goes out at 15 cents per unit flour-wise. We could be bringing in raw materials and then selling the finished product on top of growing our own raw materials. Kind of like that idea. Now there's nothing we can make with honey. We don't have the ability to make mead. So I don't think honey ever gets used as an ingredient yet. There may be, I'm, there's lots of stuff planned for the future. Let's do that. It's 107 coming in in wheat. 107 monies. <laughs> Let's do that. Deal. You come on in. They're coming from all the way over here. Um, to sell, don't really have much available to sell right now. Oil, buckwheat... Um, what do we have in the town for buckwheat? We've got nothing. We're selling them to our own people, too, and they're using it. Okay, so town storage is zero. Uh, what else? Flour is still nothing. Okay, and chicken, eggs, horse, shoes, salt, iron, metal parts, flax. We have... Interesting. Oh, we have hemp. Okay, we have hemp. So that's all we got going on, and we're going to spend 107. Now we've still got a lot more coming in here, tax wise. Let's take another look at that. Treasury now. House rent 11. So I think that is. I think it, it must simulate taking time going from house to house through the year, because it's just continually um, increasing here. Treasury. So now land tax, we've brought in 260 so far. So maybe this guy is a bit ambitious. So this little house right here has a small tax, has a wealth of 55 for their entire house. So they've got only 250 coming in and they got 250 going out. But correct me if I'm wrong, that should be annually. That's not a monthly. It seems like it would say monthly land tax 240. So I'm pretty sure that is an annual bill. So let me know if I'm wrong. This guy over here, five coming in. There was 160 for their 
family wealth are already down to 120. I think I might be getting a little too aggressive here. So let's take you down to something more like so. Wealth tax of three. That seems like that should be percent of everything over and above the 80 threshold. And I'll we'll take you down to two. We'll just let this run for a while, see what that does. Okay. So where am I at? Yep, I'm there again, aren't I? Kind of get that sense without realizing it of when an hour is. So you have, you got carts coming in. We've got our trading going on. Um, our worker will probably be there in time. We've got two on their way. Two on their way in? What is this guy? That's a cart. The messenger is from there. I think that's what that means. So one cart coming in of wheat. Okay. So I don't need to hire a second worker. One worker's fine. You did get employed and you are mostly done and ready to be finished with your work. You now have to take down all of this. Though this is pretty close to it too. So I'm thinking they're both going to be working on it. Okay. You are still over here waiting to have that tree removed. And then you're ready to build. And we are bringing supplies over. Not really. We brought some, but not much. Okay. So, I don't feel like I got a lot done this time. But that's just the way some episodes are going to be. There is time spent just talking your way through, deciding... Am I paused? Darn. Talking your way through what you're doing. So you end up doing stupid. I hate doing stupid. And that happens from just making quick decisions and moving on and not letting that work around in the back of your head and thinking about what you just did and was that as wise as it felt like when you clicked that button. But I think we're on a pretty good track here. I think so. This is all going to happen slowly over the next several episodes and maybe by next time we will have this guy up and running and see how the salt work works. We'll have probably a couple of a couple houses in, and we'll definitely have this haystack in. So we should see see the uh, the hay starting to dry, and see how that works. And then it's just a matter of getting to work on some more of the industrial buildings. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call that one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye now.